a cool and peaceful night. Huh? What's that? A baby turtle? Did you find your bone, hero? <laughs> That's a good boy. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Zari. What's up? Hi, Leo. I'm at the beach, and I found a baby turtle crawling on the sand. A baby turtle? Aw, so cute. But it's all alone. Do you know if it'll be okay? It's alone? Let's look up more information on the computer to see how we can help it. I'm right behind you, Katie. In the meantime, stay on the line, Zari. See you later, hero. Let's see. It's a baby hawksbill turtle. Hawksbill turtles get their name from the shape of their mouths. Their upper jaw sticks out more than the lower one, giving their mouth a beak-like shape, just like a hawk. Female hawksbill turtles return to the same area where they were hatched to lay eggs. One turtle can lay up to 200 eggs at a time. That's a lot of babies. Where are the turtles' brothers and sisters? Maybe they're still in the nest. Baby hawksbill turtles emerge as a group from their nest at night and instinctively head towards the water. How do they know where the water is? The baby hawksbill turtles head towards the brightest part of the natural environment, which is the horizon where there is moonlight reflecting off the water. So, the baby turtle siblings might be emerging from their nest soon? Do you want to come over and watch them take their first steps to the water? Yes, of course. <laughs> See you soon. Ranger out. Ranger out. Let's go meet the baby hawksbill turtles. See you downstairs. Ranger Leo all set. Woohoo! <laughs> Junior Rangers to the rescue. Platypus one, activate. Here we go! Happy birthday, baby Hawksbill Turtles! Welcome to the world! Look at them go! Oh no! Some baby turtles are going the wrong way! Turn around, baby turtles! The water's this way! I think the baby turtles are confused by the street light. They're a lot brighter than the light on the water. Then we need to cover that light. What can we use around here? Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. We can use trash bags to block out the light. Great idea, Zari. Yuck! No! <laughs> I'll do it. It's empty. Oh! <laughs> Leo, can you help me? Sure, Katie. Jetpack activate! activate. That seems to do the trick. It's not so bright now. The baby turtles are turning back to the water. We did it. Um, where is the hawksbill turtle, Mom? Why isn't she here to protect and guide her babies? Great question, Katie. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. To answer your question, Katie, once the Hawksbill Turtle Mom has laid her eggs in the sand, she covers it up and goes back to sea. The nest is left unattended, and the eggs are vulnerable to predators like monitor lizards and crabs. After the eggs hatch, the baby Hawksbill Turtle's journey to the water is also a dangerous one, especially in an urban environment like this. There are natural predators like crabs and birds, and also other threats like pollution. Hawksbill turtles are critically endangered. We need to do our best to protect them. That means there aren't many of them left in the wild? We have to help as many baby turtles as we can. Whoa! Some of them are heading towards the rocks. They might get stuck there. And I see some trash in the water. The turtles could get trapped in those plastic bags. A baby turtle's being dragged under the sand. There are dangers all around. Junior Rangers, let's split up to save the baby turtles. Got it! Let's do this. 
Aha! This might work! Baby Turtles, I'm coming to save you! Hang on, Baby Turtles. Don't get caught in the plastic bags. There! Much better! That should do it! Turn away from the rocks, Baby Turtles! Careful, Hero! <gasps> it's a crab! And it's got a baby turtle in its claw! Come here, crab! No, no! Hey! Gotcha! Sorry, crab. Baby turtles are not on the menu today. There goes the last few baby turtles. Goodbye, baby turtles! We hope to see you again when you're all grown up! You're free to go now, crab. Sorry about that. We'll make sure to bring you something else to eat. What an eventful night! Yeah, but I'm really tired now. Get a good rest, Junior Rangers. You deserve it. Mission accomplished. I'm glad we managed to help the baby hawksbill turtles reach the water safely. Are you pretending to be a turtle hero? I've never heard a turtle bark before. You're an unusual turtle hero. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers. What is it, Hero? Oh, it's just a piece of rope. Did you think it was a snake? Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Zari. Leo, there's a snake in my bathroom. Check it out. Whoa, it's huge. Keep a safe distance away from it, Zari. How did it get there? I'm safe, Leo, but I don't know how the snake got here. A bathroom's no place for a snake to live in. We need to get it home. Did someone say snake? Yeah, there's one in Zari's bathroom, Katie. Don't worry, Zari. We'll find out more about the snake and come right over to help you. Great! Ranger out! Ranger out! Katie, we need to find out more about the snake in Zari's bathroom. I'm already on it. See you later, hero! <laughs> Katie, did you find anything? Let's see. The snake in Zari's bathroom is a reticulated python. They are one of the world's longest snakes, and they're native to South Asia and Southeast Asia. That makes sense. Zari lives in Singapore, which is in Southeast Asia. But to find it in a bathroom? Yeah, that is strange. Reticulated pythons are usually found in tropical rainforests. They are non-venomous, but they have long, sharp teeth that could give you a nasty bite. Articulated pythons are constrictors, which means they coil around prey and squeeze them tightly. Oh no! We better hurry over to Zari right now! See you downstairs! Ranger Leo all set! Woohoo! Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here we go! Let's head up to Zari's place! Zari, are you okay? Huh? What are you doing, Zari? I'm playing the recorder to hypnotize the python with music so it'll be calm. That way, it won't hurt us when we try to move it home. Are you sure that'll work? Of course. I saw it on a TV show. Don't believe everything you see on TV, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky? Rocky? Playing music won't hypnotize pythons. They don't hear sounds the same way as humans. Oh, then what should we do? Sorry, Junior Rangers. I have an emergency to attend to. Can you keep an eye on the python? I'll be back soon. But remember to keep a safe distance from it. You can count on us. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Goodbye, Goodbye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Okay, python. <gasps> Where did it go? 
the python is headed out the window. Oh, no. Jetpack activate. Where did it go? Come back, python. Where are you, python? Come on out. Did the python come this way? What? Leo, you lost it? <laughs> Hello, Junior Rangers. Where's the reticulated python? Um, I lost it. Yeah, the python's probably far away by now. Don't give up, Junior Rangers. The python could still be in the area. Even though reticulated pythons are good swimmers and climbers, they don't move very fast on land. Reticulated pythons are usually shy and avoid human contact, but they can turn aggressive if they feel threatened. So be careful as you search the area. Don't get too close to the python. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We're on it. Let's do this. Jetpack, Jetpack activate. activate. <laughs> Time to roll. Where are you, python? Come on out. Where are you, python? Come on out. Any pythons here? Python? Are you there? Did anyone find the python? Nope. Hero? <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Stand back, children. Everything is fine. Now it's time to bring this python home. Here you go. Goodbye, Python. Stay safe. Don't wander into any more bathrooms. Mission accomplished. I'm glad we got the Python out of Zari's bathroom. Ooh, speaking of bathrooms, I gotta use the toilet. Be careful of the snake in there. W what? <laughs> Just kidding. Ugh, Katie, I gotta go so bad. <laughs> Good job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers.